I'm Laura Green. Welcome to Discovery Today, bringing you the very latest from the world of science and technology. In today's program, Lost at Sea, the device that could save your life. First, around 120 people drown in Britain every year. The difficulty for the rescue services is that once the man overboard alarm is raised, it's a race against time to find them before it's too late. It can take hours to pinpoint the location of a drowning person, but only minutes for them to lose their lives. Now, a new device has been developed which can cut that search time down dramatically. Discovery Today went to see it being tested the English Channel off the coast of Devon. Divers are in trouble. Diver Joe, this is Brixham Coast Guard. Go ahead. We have two missing divers and uh, they should have surfaced about 20 minutes ago. Request yeah. immediate launch uh, rescue Hotel Lima. The air-sea rescue helicopter has a rough idea where they may be, but getting to people in the water is a race against time. Not knowing their exact whereabouts can be fatal. It's the Coast Guard, people on the front line, who really understand the dangers of being stranded at sea. The experience has, has, has taught me that um, if a fisherman were to fall overboard in rough weather, in cold, icy seas, especially off the west coast of Scotland, their survival time is, is minutes. And invariably, these people are lost. The key to any rescue is pinpointing the exact location of someone overboard. The answer could well be this British invention, the personal location beacon. It can be activated manually or set to turn on automatically when immersed in salt water for 20 seconds. It sends a signal on the international distress frequency and, most importantly, location details to the rescue services as much as 10 kilometres away. Yes, if we know that somebody is missing at sea and they have a locator beacon, our rescue units, such as the Coast Guard helicopter or military helicopter and all-weather lifeboats, have direction-finding equipment. They can home in on this beacon. I've calculated that a 200-square-mile search area could be searched for one of these beacons by a helicopter in about 20 minutes, whereas previously it would take hours. The diver has been armed with the beacon and after just 15 minutes is found by the rescue services. Hello, Portland. This is British Coast Guard. Rescue Hotel Lima returning to base. Uh, both divers recovered. Medical condition not considered uh, critical. Yep, thanks very much for your But the beacon can even eliminate the need to call the rescue services at all. When a crew member falls overboard or a diver is in difficulty and activates the beacon, local boats fitted with receivers can find them within a range of two and a half kilometres. The boat itself is fitted with a direction finder. So when the beacon goes into the water or a person falls overboard, the beacon activates on the 121.5 megahertz frequency. It also activates the receiver on the vessel. This sounds an alarm and the vessel then can steam back to the location of the beacon. By following the red light that's on the zero setting on the crew finder, it shows to me that we have a diver completely on the, on the bow of the boat. We just follow that line until we come across the diver. So it's been a successful rescue. It took only a matter of minutes to find the second diver and crucially, without the need to call out the rescue services. It would certainly save money. A Coast Guard helicopter costs three and a half thousand pounds an hour. And most importantly, it could save lives.